Microsoft has just announced the dreaded Xbox Game Pass price increase that we were all waiting for. There will also be some crazy changes to the Xbox Game Pass tier list that I want to talk about. So let's get into it. So let's talk about the price hike first. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate gets a monthly price increase to $19.99 a month. PC Game Pass gets an increase from $9.99 to $11.99 a month. Xbox Game Pass Core doesn't get a monthly increase, but gets a yearly increase from $59.99 to $74.99. Now these are the US prices. Here's the list of all the price changes in your specific region. I'll link this in the description. The new recurring prices take effect on September 12th, 2024. Now here are the tier changes. First, they are dropping the Game Pass for Consoles tier, but will be grandfathered for current users who continue their subscription. It will not be available for new users. So for console users who have it and don't want to lose it, make sure you never cancel it. Also, they're allowing console users to stack up to 13 months of using prepaid cards, so stack while you can. So the second change is that they'll be adding an Xbox Game Pass tier, the standard tier. This will be priced at $14.99 a month. This tier will not have day one games, but will have a back catalog of Xbox games. It will also contain Game Pass Core for multiplayer, but it will not have Xbox Cloud Gaming. This will launch in September. So that's the update, but I wanted you guys to notice something about these changes. They are getting rid of console. Why? Remember this. When we look in the future, we see a world where game creators will natively be building cloud-based games first. They will think first about their game running in the cloud with almost unlimited access to the hardware capability that's available in a data center they'll be able to scale the capabilities of their games up and down, potentially hosting hundreds of thousands of players in a game or making use of multiple CPUs and GPUs in the cloud to deliver experiences that no local hardware could unlock. Guys, they're doing it. They're putting things in motion to go cloud-based. I would bet that all Microsoft games going forward are going to be optimized for the cloud and hopefully an updated cloud using their cloud infrastructure, Microsoft Azure, and not the crappy Xbox blades they're using now. This way, all games in Game Pass can be played on almost any device going forward. Remember, they're looking to have a cloud hybrid system in 2028. That's less than four years away. Guys, the tide is turning. Hopefully these changes will also include playing your own games in the cloud in the near future. Time will tell. So not all these changes are bad news. Prices, yes, but the tier changes, not so much. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you like this Game Pass update, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.